Hello, my name is Carl. I love DIY on cars. Welcome to this series in which we are going to add a heated steering wheel to this 2008 BMW E90 M3. To take electric power from the car, first we need to find out which wires to be tapped. In this video, let's talk about how to locate that power source with an easy DIY tool. In the following series, we will further add an exclusive fuse to our newly added device, and there will be a full walkthrough on the DIY retrofit. So please stay with us. This is the simplified electric system of the BMW E9X series. Some terminals are not shown here. For detailed information, please refer to official BMW documents and manuals. Here in the middle, we have the car battery. The ground is assigned to terminal 31. Actually, most of the metal parts on the vehicle are grounding points, so you can also call them Terminal 31. The positive lead of the battery is Terminal 30, which supplies 12 volt until it runs out of electric power. If we connect an electric load on this terminal without a switch, the battery will be drained off. Certain essential devices are on Terminal 30, for example, the anti-theft system must still remain on when the vehicle is parked. Terminal 30G is controlled by the power management system. It is switched on when the car is awakened. For example, you unlock the car with the remote key. And it is switched off after 30 or 60 minutes, depending on the setting, when you put the car to sleep. Terminal 30 GF is always on until there's fault in the system. For example, the battery is running low, so the power management system must switch off certain devices to save electricity. Terminal 15 is on when the car is switched ignition. Most dashboard cameras are taking power from the cigarette lighter socket, namely Terminal 15. The heated steering wheel is also on this terminal according to BMW's design. So in this video, we are going to find out which wire to take power from. You can start with the BMW wiring diagram system to see how the fuses are distributed. Let's get in ISTA D, Vehicle Management, Troubleshooting, Component Structure, Open the Directory, Tree for components, go to A, control units. The junction box or the fuse box is numbered A4010. A4010 is right here. We can see all the fuses inside the junction box, but it is not very clear which terminals they are on. The other wiring diagram of the junction box is more informative. Informative. With this one, we can clearly see the terminals, the corresponding relays, and fuses. For example, the front cigarette lighter is numbered E28, which is uh, here, E28. It is connected to the terminal 15 via relay KI15 and the responsible fuse is F30. However, I found the wiring diagrams do not correspond to your car precisely. For example, there are quite some differences on my E90 M3. That is to say, the distribution varies from model to model and sometimes you just cannot match them. So the alternative way is relatively easier and commonly done on site. Now we want to know the power status when the car is unlocked, turned on ignition or locked. Let's open the fuse box and find out. This is the most common way of uh, finding out which fuse slot provides power. We use uh, the voltmeter and we switch the function to measuring voltage. And uh, we put the black probe to the ground. 
uh, any metal part on the car but uh, this is in the way of your view so I will place the black probe in another way and the red probe we just touched any few slots we are interested in but now if I touch here fuse 25 it shows 12 volt that means uh, the fuse box the fuse 25 on this fuse box is providing power but fuse number 5 on E90 now there's nearly zero volt it is not providing any power the car is uh, switched off right now if I switch on ignition let's switch on the car now it has power uh, around 12 volt so fuse slot number five is uh, on terminal 15 it provides power whenever the car is switched uh, on into ignition now let's turn off the car to see which fuse slots still have power the other fuse slots they are still providing power maybe terminal 30 terminal 30G or terminal 30GF we can only know by measuring them after 30 minutes we shut down the car however if you stay in the car with the key the car is not going to sleep or the car will wake up again when the door is open or closed the terminal 30 and 30G will remain on you can never know which terminal they are. So using the simple DIY tool, we can shut down the car and see the uh, indication outside the car to tell which slots are which. This is the homemade uh, power indicator. It is very simple, composed of uh, one LED light and the ground pin and the power pin. We connect this port to the empty slots or any fuse slots we want to test and uh, the LED will take power from this pin so we put this pin into like this one fuse number 21 fuse number 21 and connect the ground to the car and we see the LED light up I have already found out this is terminal 15 and these slots are terminal 30G because the power indicator shut down after 30 minutes we put the car into sleep and there are also slots on terminal 30 that were never cut off be very careful not to use these fuse slots, otherwise the battery will be drained off. This is a fuse tap people often use. It can be used to empty fuse slots or already the one occupied. For example, today I want to tap fuse number 5 and now it is already occupied. I just remove the original fuse and the original fuse stay here so the original equipment is still functional it still have power but the power to our new device is tapped here and it will be using another fuse for example like a 20 amp fuse so the additional equipment fuse is put here and we just insert it to fuse number five now our device has tapped power from fuse 25 with a new fuse of 20 amp pretty convenient right but i think it is ugly so i prefer it the oem way of adding a fuse to our fuse box and get rid of this fuse tap 
we will add a fuse to an empty slot and make it nice and clean. We will proceed to add a fuse for our device in the next video. Please stay tuned. All the way down. These are the parts we need for the DIY power indicator. The LED lamp having two pins whose working voltage is 12 volt. The alligator clip for ground connection. And the fuse tab of any type, anywhere you can get at your convenience. Like we mentioned before, there will be one wire for 12 volt power and also a fuse holder for the fuse from the slot you want to test. My dad doubted that the wire can withstand high current. It is okay because the LED lamp we used is not heavy duty. Now let's take the power indicator into action. The probe end is tapped to the fuse slot we are interested in. And let's ground the indicator to the dashboard frame with the alligator clip. The indicator lights up, showing there is power on this fuse slot. Place the indicator on the dashboard. Close the glove box. And let's get out of the car. Make sure the door is firmly closed so the car can go to sleep. The door is closed and let's lock the car. And start the timer. Let's see if it shuts down in 30 minutes. Okay, now we are standing by the car. And we can see the LED indicator through the windshield. Now it's 30 minutes since I locked the car. Let's wait for it. Wait, you should turn off the LED. Now it's off about 31 minutes after I locked the car. So we have confirmed that this fuse slot is on terminal 30G with this DIY power indicator. We can take power from this slot without risking draining off the battery after the car is shut down. I'm going to add a backup camera and soft closed door and many other cool stuff to this E90. According to BMW design, these devices will take power from terminal 30G. However, in this series, the heated steering wheel is going to use terminal 15, which we had found on fuse slot number 5. 
We have sorted out the available fuse slots on our car and I can't wait to proceed to the next step. So in next video, we are going to add a fuse for our project and we will do it in a professional way like BMW does. Please click the subscribe button and you are very welcome to press the like button or to leave a comment below. See you next time. Okay. Wheel is going back in. 